So here we are on the Appalachian Trail, day one of our journey. And uh, we've got some incredible views. And even more, we have incredible friendship and great weather. And so weather. this is our first time walking. Come on, David. Walking and filming. So get ready for that face plant. If, I, if it happens, I know it'll be epic. But I got the bandages all ready for you, Joe. Yeah. And already doing the pointless ups and downs. And uh, we're about two miles in, and we haven't quit. <laughs> so stay, stay tuned for more fun with the adventure. Lots of water out here with all the rain and everything in the last few days, so I don't think that's going to be an issue for us. Alright, the end of day one. We made it to the Chatfield Memorial Shelter. Uh, is it roughly about seven miles, Joe? Seven miles. Seven miles. And this is, a, this is somewhat of a typical shelter on the AT, of probably a smaller one. They've got a few bigger ones and some that are better, some that are worse, but this is probably the typical one. And I think they have these spaced about, I don't know, eight to 12 miles along the trail. Um, we try to stay on them if the weather's bad. Obviously also, if nobody else is in them, then we'll take the opportunity to do it. It's supposed to rain tonight, so we're gonna go ahead and take the opportunity to, to do the shelter as opposed to our tent. But again, it's a pretty nice shelter. It's got a little picnic table, an old guy sitting at it. Yeah, uh, water source right down there. Uh, and that's where we ultimately will get our drinking water and cooking water. And, and we, we found, we found something in the water source. <laughs> We've also found that the creeks in Virginia are just the right temperature to uh, to chill uh, barley mm -hmm. beverages. So we actually uh, brought one in each to kind of celebrate our first day on the trail. So. All right, we're gonna do kind of a little wrap up for the day. End of day one. Um, woo -hoo, woo! Exciting journey. It is. Was. Still Was. is. Will be. No injuries. Our bodies held up, and now we're doing some of the, the best part of the day. We're, we're having a beer and we're eating. Yes. Sometimes you just got to carry one in with you. Yeah. But, uh, you gotta, celebratory things. You got to <laughs> stop and smell the roses, celebrate, and drink the beer along exactly. the way. Let's see if I can get this right. There we go. Got to move this stuff around. So we we thank it. Thank all of you who uh, have shown interest and follow this and are willing to listen to our stories. And watch me eat. And watch watch us eat. But <laughs> we know we're going to have a, a a boatload of fun. We're actually pretty surprised that we're up this late. I don't know what is it. Maybe six o'clock. Uh, it's almost six thirty. Almost six Man, thirty. This is, and we're, this is kind of late we for us. We haven't even gotten our sleeping bags yet. <laughs> and we're uh, we're animals. <laughs> but um, so we left uh, we left Atlanta at about seven this morning. Mm -hmm. And drove about a little over five hours to. Marion, Virginia, where we had a really nice lunch at Mikado's. Mikado's. Mikado's, yeah. Um, really great sandwiches if you're ever in the area, go to Mikado's. And then uh, the ladies, our wives, dropped us off at the Cherrowhead, right there at Partnership Shelter in Mount, Roger, Mount Rogers Visitor Center. And we, we were able to talk them into stopping long enough for us to get out. They we were have... they were real troopers. They they stopped, <laughs> opened the doors, let us get out. It, it, yeah. I couldn't believe it. We didn't have to jump. We didn't have to jump. <laughs> So we, uh, we hit the trail about 1.45, uh, yep. so obviously pretty late to, to get started, but uh, you wouldn't believe the weather here. It's just incredible uh, compared to what it was the last time we were here, where it was snow and ice and, and blizzards, and uh, this time it was mid-60s, sun shining, nice, nice cool breeze blowing. David was hiking in short sleeves most yeah, of the day. We yeah. had sun, and it was, it was phenomenal. It, it was kind of odd on the trail. Well, we, we still, we made pretty good time. We we're doing two miles an hour. There was a lot of obstructions on the trail. Trees yeah. down, you know, small trees, big trees, branches, and you had to really pay attention to your feet. I almost, I almost did a couple face plants because yeah. I wasn't watching close enough. Yeah, I think they, had, they must have had a storm or something come through here and just topple a lot of the trees. So, made for a challenge. But they also helped to limber us up, I guess. We got to twist, <laughs> twist in different ways we haven't twisted in a while, so. <laughs> Home for the night is behind us, which is the shelter. And I think uh, another clip there will show a little bit more of, of the shelter and what that's all about. But since they're forecasting rain for tonight, 
uh, we are going to go ahead and try to stay in the shelter. Right now, Joe and I are the only ones here, and I don't expect anybody else to show up. Like we said before, it's about 6.30, and uh, the sun's going down. Hopefully, this isn't too dark to see. It's pretty dark. Chrissy can probably work magic with no, the... she can. Uh, she can do anything. 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 She'll, she'll actually make us look good. <laughs> Ah, there's a uh, Photoshop. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. Some of these wrinkles here, you could probably get out of the way. And uh, yeah, uh, but a great first day. You know, one of the things Joe and I have been talking about the whole time is that it's hard to believe we're out here doing this. You know, we have spent years talking about this. We've spent years getting our gear together, doing shakedowns, trying to figure out, hey, when we go through hike, what do we do? What are we going to do? So forth. A lot of planning and thought. And now we're here, and it's like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little surreal. Uh, and I think it's probably going to take a week or two for it to, to kick in. Um, I think I've mentioned before, the longest I've been on the trail is, I think, eight days. Yeah, and uh, I think that's one I did with you. We were yeah. Eight, eight days. So it'll probably have to be after that before we realize that, hey, we're, we're out here for good. So, but weather tomorrow? Weatherman? Weatherman. Tomorrow is going to be some, well, start out maybe some rain tonight, and then it's supposed to let up, and the rain's supposed to subside by noon tomorrow which time we might be at a Mexican restaurant for, for lunch <laughs> as part of one of our options. And then it's supposed to just get cold and blustery, but not raining tomorrow night. So tomorrow night might be 25 degrees. We'll be in our tents and, um, you know, God willing, we'll be still, we have not hurt ourselves. Exactly. Exactly. So, but yeah, again, you look at the weather forecast for the rest of the week, we've got rain coming in off and on, but mm -hmm. sunny days, um, you know, the, the one place that we look at is atweather.org. It allows you to kind of look at the weather at each of the shelter and camping areas. Uh, so if, if you don't have that and you're wanting to know what's going on in the AT, weather-wise, you, you can get that. But, it, you know, it only shows about one week in advance. So prior to us being able to get any kind of insight into this week, they were pretty nasty forecast. <laughs> you know, a, yeah. lot of, a lot of snow, <laughs> a lot of freezing rain, lows in the single digits. Uh, so we were quite surprised when we started to get some visibility into this week that it was going to be as warm as it's going to be. Uh, I think we it cools off a little bit more. Today was, I think, the highest we'll get for the week. Right, yep. So, uh, anyway, it's a great way to kind of work our way in. We'll have some rain that we'll, we'll have to deal with. But that's okay. That'll kind of get us in tune with it. Um, and, and the worse the weather, you know, the more interesting the videos will be. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's... it's if it's an, a beautiful day every day and we're just hiking through the woods, it'll be like, all right, okay, whatever. But yeah. we're going to have some things to make it interesting. Yeah. So um, we're sitting here eating dinner. My dinner is uh, stovetop stuffing, uh, which is actually really good. And uh, what do you have, Joe? Uh, chicken fried rice. Chicken and it is just about rice. ready. It's over there just, uh, whatever, yeah. resting in Joe, its bag. Um, Joe always puts me to shame with food, and my wife always jokes that, uh, Joe is her trail husband because he cooks so much better than me. <laughs> so uh, my goal is to uh, see if I, I can outdo him maybe one night. I may have to steal his food, but I'm going to try to outdo him one night. So. Game on, brother. Yeah. <laughs> as long but, as you share what you make. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I think that's about it. About it. It's kind of getting dark, so you may. Yeah. Hopefully, you can, see, can see us uh, here, see here, here somewhere moving. in there. So we will uh, talk to you all in the morning, and we'll go from there with. Uh, with our day two, but a day one is in the books. In the books. Wow. Great job. Yeah. It's great. It's good to get started. All right. Good night, y'all. Hey, good night. All right, day two. Starting off with our stretching. Very Let's impressive, start off Joe. Stretching. Good job, man. And there's the, you know, gotta get this stretch <laughs> ready for tonight. We we'll have time for that later. <laughs> uh, pretty rainy and wet this morning. Um, we were lucky that we got here last night before it started raining, but. Again, a really nice shelter. Uh, one of the nice things I can actually stand up in it. For a tall guy, that's a that's a pretty good thing. All right. Yeah, the uh, no mice in the shelter last night, although we had, uh, Joe was playing with a couple up in the privy. Uh, so now it's instead of going to the privy, it's going to see the mice. Um, so I think he's got, I don't know if he made friends or enemies. I'm not sure, but anyways. Uh, we did talk some shit over. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> and so shows the no filter. Um, anyways, we're we're hoping to do only about seven miles today, seven to eight miles. So we're uh, we kind of just did a slow start this morning. We probably it's about eight thirty right now. We're probably getting ready to head out and then make a couple stops along the way. We cross over eighty one, so there's a couple gas stations there. We might take the opportunity to get a few uh, extra bites, but. 
Anyway, so it's supposed to, the rain is supposed to let up about 10, so we're hoping that's true. And then it's supposed to also get cold. It was about 50 last night, so really a, a nice, comfortable night to sleep. And I think they said it's supposed to get down about 36 by 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, something like that. So it could get a little chilly on us, but it looks like the rest of the day is going to be dry. And we'll actually probably be tenting at a campsite tonight, but uh, with no rain, we should be in pretty good shape. So, anyways, anything to add there, Mr. Joe? I'm just happy we're already on the right side of the river. We don't have to cross over again to Sutter Trek too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a couple of good little crossings yesterday that, you know, well, yeah, if you're worried about keeping your feet dry, it's, uh, it, they were a little touchy to try to get across some of the rocks, but, you know, we made it. <laughs> so we'll see how today goes. They, they talked that there's going to be a lot of crossings with the rain. It could be, could be interesting, but probably nothing too bad, but we'll make the most of it. So, all right, well, we'll see you down the road. Probably won't get a chance to do a lot of video and watch rain. Uh, but maybe we'll get a chance to catch back up uh, about lunchtime when we stop to, to do some lunch. So. Happy trails. Yep. We'll see you down the trail. We don't, it's a no-name stream, <laughs> but we're getting a lot of these. So here we go. Let's see if Joe can go for a swim. <laughs> yeah, streams are a little bit uh, flowing pretty heavy here. And this looks like we got some decent rocks. But I sent Joe first just to make sure none of the rocks are slippery. It's the least I could do for him. Joe. All right. I believe this is the uh, 1890 Settlers Museum, kind of the homestead. Uh, I think there's actually a school just a little bit further up that we'll uh, we'll try to see if it's open and take a look at it. But they're pretty cool. All right, I came across the 1890 Settlers Museum, and this is the old schoolhouse that they uh, allow hikers to to visit. It's uh, kind of cool. It's they keep it unlocked. I think during the normal hiking season, they have trail magic and stuff in there in here, but uh, it doesn't look like there's any right now for it. But pretty cool thing. Pretty neat. So we're gonna just kind of take a quick break here. It's been about, oh, maybe we've gone about two miles so far this morning. The weather's not been too bad. A little drizzly, but nothing too bad. But I think we're gonna hang here just a little bit, get a snack, and then we'll move on. All right, we just did lunch at uh, the Exxon station. Unfortunately, the Mexican restaurant was closed, but, and the barn restaurant is still closed as well. Uh, but anyways, coming out of Atkins, Virginia, nice little, walk here the sun's actually tried to come out today which has been really nice we went through a spell there it was pretty rainy and windy and cold but it's starting to warm up a little bit so we'll take it nice little walkway here we've come about i guess five miles for the day and we are thinking we're probably gonna do about another three but we're gonna try our hardest to keep our miles low that's always been a problem for Joe and I. We always tend to try to push things, but we're we're really taking to heart that for this through hike, it's more of a marathon than it is a sprint. So we're doing what we can. So not very scenic here, but uh, I've been dealing with a lot of muddy trails today, just from all the rain that's been in this area. Uh, the trail's pretty slippery at times. Well, that's where we are. Talk to you a little this bit later. We're just glad hikers are smarter than cows. At least we think they are. <laughs> you can do this it. This is where David lets me see if the, the wood is not rotten. That's right. Hey, <laughs> that's why I film a lot. Good job, Joe. All right, now don't shut it down. Come here. You and I, we have to have you oh, yeah. on there yeah. as well. <laughs> he almost fell down backing up. Edit that out, Christy. Yeah, or leave, you could leave it in, I guess. <laughs> oh.